Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And as I think this whole House can see from the question from the leader of the official opposition and the leader of New Democrats, and now from, from me, there is an extraordinary broad consensus on this side of the House that Canadian families, individuals living with autism, really do need more than what we have so far. And I would ask the Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, if the next answer could contain some hope to those families that help is on the way and that the Canadian Autism Partnership will find support from the current government. Thank Honourable Prime Minister. We recognize uh, the extraordinary work that Canadians across the country do to support their loved ones, particularly uh, those living with autism spectrum disorder. Uh, we recognize uh, the stories and the compassion uh, that has been shown by people as they share uh, their desire to do more uh, to fight uh, the impacts that autism has on people who live with it. Uh, I can recognize that uh, my staff has uh, also met uh, repeatedly with the uh, member from Edmund Wetaskiwin, Edmonton Wetaskiwin, uh, to talk about how uh, we can move forward in concrete ways uh, that will make a difference in the lives of so many Canadians.